Hello there, welcome to another video. If you hear Mexican music in the background, that's because my neighbors are playing and I might have to reshoot this, but we are doing the lights for the columns. And if you haven't checked out this whole video of the gate, the columns, the automatic Maida Mule gate, all the fun stuff, go check that out. Make sure to subscribe. Um, but these lights here, I had a bunch of problems with it. Sensor might be broken. I popped a fuse in the battery. So I've already popped a fuse. The light sensor doesn't work. That's bad. And I'll jump into some of those issues throughout the video. So make sure you stick around so that your installation can go much smoother. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I got some sick LED lights from Amazon and I put this, and these are like step lights. And I'm gonna put them on the pillars here. I will put a link in the description, so go check that out if you want these exact lights. Um, but I also got this wire that you can direct bury it. It's just two wires, and that's also in the link. But I'm going to connect that to the light, and then cut it to length, and then stick it through the hole that I drilled in the column, and then shove it all into the column, and then it'll come out through the bottom. I am doing this on the other column as well, and you'll see me you know, do the exact same thing, and then I have to bury it, which was super fun. Alrighty, now for the hard part, dig. And now it's time to install the other elements of this build, which is a light sensor and a light switch. We can, you can see both of them here are attached to the wall. Look, this is pretty cool because they got these little uh, plugs to make it all waterproof and stuff. Now, I ended up not using the light sensor and I'll tell you why very shortly, but all this stuff connects really easy together and I bought some of this from Home Depot, but link in bio. Now I'm drilling some holes that the wires will go through to go to the minor mule box. Now these wires are from the gate openers as well as the light wires. And I'm just using this fish wire to pull them through. All right, we got all three of them in. And I'm just thinking to myself, why didn't I wire this before I did all the other stuff? It probably would have been way easier. I guess I just thought it'd be easier to do a solid wall than to wire. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. Wire before or after? This next part, I am taking the battery from the Mighty Mule, which is 12 volts, and I'm splicing the wires from the positive and negative, and then I'm gonna connect my wires for the lights to this. Now the wire for the light is going to go through the battery, through the control panel from that hole that I just pulled it out of, and then that's gonna go out of the box, back through the column, and then underneath, and then up through the conduit into the connections on the left. So here's where I run into my first problem. I'm turning on the box, trying to turn it on and off, but nothing is happening. I popped a fuse in the battery. I did end up popping it again a few days later, and here is the clip showing how I fixed it. So I've already popped a fuse once, and whenever the circuit board doesn't have a beep on it, then something with the battery's messed up. There's a little thing in there that's like broken. And then here's a new one, the little U-shape in there, not broken. There we go. All right, this is the wire that goes from the battery to the lighting. And so I'm gonna stick it back through this hole, then go down and then go up through the conduit so that it's cleaner. Alrighty, we're doing the wiring for the lights out here. And so the power, move this down some. So we have a battery in here that's powered by the solar panel, charges the battery and powers the whole automatic gate. And now we spliced it at the battery coming out and now it's going down the wall back into here. Power. 
And so this power is gonna be connected to this light sensor and a button. So when the button is on, the light sensor tells when the lights are off or on. And then when it's off, everything is off completely. So I drew a diagram here. We're going to get that diagram because I ended up switching it up from here, but I just wanted to mention it in this video just in case you try to use the same light sensor. If the photo sensor is working correctly, it shouldn't be on. Like lights are still on, so I must have something wired wrong. Okay, I switched the red. The sensor might be broken. Hello there. It's been a while since I've talked about this little light sensor over here. I was wondering why this sensor wasn't working and I figured it out. It's for 120 volts, not 12 volts. So the light sensor doesn't work, but I bought a timer, an indoor outdoor timer that is supposed to work with 12 volts. And it might be better anyways, because if I were to have that on when it's dark, it would drain the whole battery, not the whole battery, but it would drain it too much. And you're not supposed to drain the battery that much. So hopefully this works. I'm not sure how it works. And I've heard the wiring is confusing, but we'll see. Here's the little diagram. Here's actual directions. The timer has one, two, three, four slots. Two and four are gonna to go to one side of the battery. And then three is gonna to go to the other, which then connects to the lights. Uh, one on each side of the lights, which then goes to part of the switch. And then timer one goes to the other switch, which connects to the other sides of the column light. And this is what the timer looks like. By the way, this will be in the link in the description and the lights on the columns are also in the link in the description. Oh. Oh yeah. Off, it turned off. So in order to unlock this, you gotta hit this button four times. One, two, three, four. And then it's unlocked and then you can set the stuff. Um, it has week, hour, minute, clock, uh, CR, and P, which is the uh, program. We set it to start in a few minutes to see if it automatically comes on. If it does, we'll lock everything up and call it a win. I think we're good, but let's check to make sure that it is. There's this little indicator light here on, a little indicator here too. So whenever it hits in two minutes, it should come on. If you can see that bad boy there. The light is on, and the light is on. Okay, so this is um, the switch. Two and four go to the power here, and then this black is the one that comes up and goes into the switch, and this um, red one is the one that comes up and goes into this. And then the power is what comes from out of the box. So one of the issues that I had was that the battery is not big enough. So the light staying on for long periods of time is not feasible. It drains the battery and then the Mighty Mule thing starts beeping, telling us that it's low. And when the battery gets low, that's bad and it will kill the battery. So you can't do that. One of the ways to solve that is to put the timer on lower amount of time. So I have it for few in the evening. This has really only happened when it's been really foggy, really icy, really cold, really there hasn't been a lot of sun so the battery doesn't get to recharge. So during those nights I've turned off the battery or I've turned off the lights with this switch here and so that it doesn't drain the battery. But when it's normal out it's perfectly fine. So let's turn this back on and then check the light. <laughs> and it's not on. I think the timer is set for seven or eight. So let's jump into that. Alrighty, it's on now. It's only been 10 minutes. Uh, seven o'clock hit and it turned it on perfectly. So now you got the light there and you got the light over there. And so it looks pretty awesome. Now that about sums up this video. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can make sure you hit that subscribe and go check out the rest of these build on my channel they're all on a playlist so yeah I will see y'all out there see you in the next video alrighty